Hello! Merry Christmas, although it's actually more like Happy New Year. Darn new Tuesday schedule. Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve both fell on Tuesdays this year. Also, I'm in someone else's house right now. I'm in Ryan's house because my house was way too loud. There were people walking around um, and yeah, it didn't work out. So I took all my stuff here, <laughs> all my Christmas presents and all my studio lighting and everything and I'm filming here now and I've also had to film this more than once here because my battery died and I left it at home. So that's how my day's going. And then I tried to play Mario 3D on Wii U and the Wiimote died. So as you can tell by what you clicked on, this video contains three parts. It is a what I gave for Christmas, what I got for Christmas, and a little giveaway for you guys as a kind of Christmas New Year's present. As I said, this is super brief because I don't actually have anything to show you because all these items are in people's possessions already. Although I do have Ryan's stuff, but it's kind of put away. For everyone, I baked macaroons this year, and I don't bake often. I tried to make French macaroons, which are super popular on the internet. Um, they're the little sandwich cookie type things, and they're all different colors and flavors, and I thought that was super cool. There's like pistachio, peanut, raspberry, those are the three flavors I made. And actually I did like Christmas colors, and I wrapped them up all nicely to give to people so um, it would feel like a gift. And I will insert a little clip of me kind of like testing out macaroon baking, because it's a very challenging process. They are rising and they have feet. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. They're just getting better and better over time. And if I ever told you baking amateurs? Like baking amateurs? Oh yeah. <laughs> we can't do anything. My mom totally doesn't believe in me. She said that they're yeah. gonna fail. <laughs> Great encouragement, mom. But yeah, they are looking so awesome and I'm getting really excited. And now I understand why baking is fun. <laughs> For some of the girls in my life, I gave the Shea Butter socks from Bath & Body Works because I love those things and they were super soft and I love the patterns that came out this year. They were like little snowmen and also these little sheep. I gave a lot of men in my life pajama bottoms from Target because they were so cool. I love the one pair. It was a fox pair. It had little foxes all over it and they gave them to Ryan. I got my one friend, Sarah Dawn, uh, a little scarf from Gap and it was so soft. I got my friend Gwen a pair of booties from Just Fab and she really liked them so I was happy because she really needed them and she yeah, I ended up finding a pair that was really nice. Well, I gave my sister boots that I found at Play-Dohs because she also needed boots. And I found a really awesome pair that came in and I snatched them up. And for Ryan, I gave him a lot of little things and a lot of candy that he liked and stuff. And I got him a GoPro camera because he is into extreme sports and like snowboarding and eventually like base jumping and stuff. I know. Uh. Also, it fit because he got me a camera for our anniversary slash my birthday. And it was really nice to like return the favor kind of. And it's something he'd been wanting for a while, so I felt really good about that, and he really liked it, so yeah. Moving on to what I got for Christmas, here is what I got in my stocking. got me and she knew me really well. I guess I have like interests that are very obvious to people. So she got me this owl scarf and I love the colors of it so much. I really like wearing it with my coat and I, it looked really nice on Christmas by the way. That's when I wore it. She got me this owl phone case which if you watch my videos for a while you know that I had the blue one which is kind of cool. So I have this black one now too and I love him and their friends. She also got me this zombie mug. Not a mug. This is a cup. And I already have a zombie cup which is really funny. Um, so she probably got some ideas from that. But anyways, I also have a sweater that matches this really well. I'm going to be matching my sweaters to my cups. And lastly, she got me this Deathly Hollows necklace, which I'm so excited about. I'm a pretty big Harry Potter fan, and I don't actually have a lot of merch. It kind of only started building up, like, last year. And I'm going to segue into this little owl contraption I got. It's this little, um, I forget what it's made of. It came in a really nice little box. But it's, it opens up, which is kind of morbid, and I came with a necklace, and I'm going to wear the owl necklace with my Deathly Hallows necklace, and I also have a Horcrux necklace. I'm going to wear them all together, it's just going to be like a bejumble of Harry Potter-ness on me, so 
always good. And this is from my dad and my stepmom because they know I love owls and they found this little guy. My dad and my stepmom also got me this cool puzzle which um, apparently is the world's most challenging puzzle. I don't think so. I solved it in an hour and that must make me a genius apparently. It sounds ridiculous that it's really challenging because there's only nine pieces. They only line up in one way so you can put them together and you have like one piece left. This is already becoming out of order but I don't care and I'm sure you guys don't either because you won't know the difference. <laughs> but my mom got me these really nice owl pajamas and they're super fleecy and soft and I just want to cuddle them all the time. They have really cute little owls on them and I just love the color so they're really nice. And she also got me this great house coat. It has snowflakes all over it and it's so soft. Like probably my softest house coat ever and I've owned like five of them. Um, I wear them to death. Like I wear them out so fast because I live in them basically because I get so cold and I live in the basement. And this one has pockets which is a very important characteristic that a house coat has to have because how else will I carry my phone down when I'm carrying my food? She also got me these nice cozy little slipper socks. I especially like these ones because they're really soft but then I also like the patterns of these ones. I think I might wear them with boots. Like if they are long enough I think they look kind of cute. I don't know, is that weird? She also got me these nice gloves. They're snow gloves and they're really, um, they're warm and, but they're really functional which is what I like about them because you know you can actually do stuff in them and your hands don't get cold like in those little thin gloves. Those don't do anything. And lastly from my mom, she got me a medicine ball. Oh and this is also my sister's because we um, like to work out and well, we used to. Six months ago we kind of asked for this and totally forgot about uh, asking for it because we stopped working out. I'm totally going to get back into that and hopefully this will be a motivation to do that. So yeah. So I'm doing pretty well on the shower gel front. Um, I got some Bath and Body Works uh, shower gels, lotion, and body spray. I got Twilight Woods Cashmere Glow which my sister said is awesome. I haven't tried it yet. And Sea Island Cotton, which I was surprised that I would um, like this scent for some reason. I, I don't normally like this kind of stuff, but I smelled it and I really like it. It's like the exact definition of fresh. I really like that I got the body spray version of this because I always wear perfume every day and to be honest, I don't want to wear perfume every day because it wastes it because I don't go somewhere every single day. And sometimes you just want to feel like one of those girls on the Downy commercials, you know, like with the sheets and like <laughs> basically that's what this smells like. So I got three nail polishes this year. A good friend Chelsea, or Chelsea Madonna here on YouTube, link below, as always, pretty much. She got me this Deborah Lipman nail polish. It's called Good Girl Gone Bad, and it's a gorgeous um, magenta purple color, and it's just glitter, basically, and it's so pretty. I've worn it so many times already. I got it in, like, the middle of December, and I think I've worn it, like, three times already. I got two other nail polishes from my aunt, uncle, and cousin, and they're from the brand Sparitual. This color is a cool orange color that I'm wearing on my nails right now. They also came with a little bag, and I forgot that at home because I'm not at my house. So in a white elephant gift seal, I won this scarf, and it's an infinity scarf, which I've never had actually just a loop scarf. This one is too, but it's long, obviously, you twist it around. This one is just literally a loop, you just put it on, and it's really cool. And it's from Indigo, so it's nice quality, and I don't have a charcoal gray scarf, which is crazy, because it's kind of a staple. My boyfriend's brother got me an owl mug, and I love owls, as you can tell by this whole video and other videos, but this one is just the cutest thing. I really like it, so cute. Also got me hot chocolate, which, okay, here's the thing. My boyfriend and him both got me hot chocolate and I don't remember which one they got me because I think it was, I think he got me this one. Anyways, this is Katie Kane hot chocolate, vanilla bean hot chocolate, and white hot chocolate. They're all from Second Cup and they're really yummy. My mom got me this bracelet and it's super cool. It's just basically like this leather kind of wrap bracelet and it has some cool studs on it and I love the color. So I think 25% of the proceeds went to charity, which I really like. So I think we're getting down to the end. I think this is just what Ryan got me now. Um, so he got me a stocking as well, which I will show you quickly. It's just food. Um, he got me dark chocolate, which is my favorite. It's 70% mini eggs because there's no bad time of the year to eat these. Kinder egg. So fun. These things are called Australian Soft Delicious Green Apple Licorice. And the brand is Capricorn, I think. Um, they are so good. They are like basically licorice texture, but they're th kind of chewier. I actually got them for him as well. <laughs> we just traded licorice. Milk chocolate covered pretzel balls, but I already ate a lot of these because they were so good. Some gum and skills. He got me a mouse because mine is absolutely crap. This was so sweet. He actually has got me the naked palette before, so he has got me makeup, but he knew I wanted that, so it was really easy for him probably to just go and pick it up. 
but this time he actually went to MAC and kind of like asked for advice and got me some products and I did not expect this at all. He got me a, a mascara and I was kind of worried when I saw that was mascara and I was like, MAC doesn't normally have good mascaras. I've never tried one by the way, but this one is the In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash and I've heard good things about this one particularly and it's so good, guys. It's so good. If I remember at the end of the video, I'll show a close-up of my eyes right now. I'm wearing them. He also got me the liquid eyeliner in boot black. Um, I normally wear gel eyeliner, but I actually was pretty happy to get this. I'm kind of getting sick of washing my brush every day. And lastly, he got me satin taupe eyeshadow, which I have two of already, and I felt really bad. It's a great eyeshadow, but I think I might return it because he gave me the gift receipt. I'm going to return it for another eyeshadow or a lipstick. And last but not least, he got me two book series. Um, this one, I'm currently reading already. I already had Divergent, and I've been raving about it for, like, <laughs> days. I keep talking about it every time, like, someone brings up anything that has any relation to it at all. I am so excited to have all of these in hardcover. That's so sweet. I love books. He knows I want to have, like, a library when I'm older. He got me the Match Trilogy, and I've never actually heard of this, but I actually really love dystopian literature. He got this series because he actually watched the Vlogbrothers videos so he could see what John Green recommends because he knows I love like John Green and I would read anything John Green recommended. That brings us to the end of the present showing and telling. Um, I also got gift cards and you know that kind of stuff but I'm not gonna show that to you just because I don't really feel comfortable. Um, I think there's a fine line showing you money and gift cards rather than just showing the things I got so I'm not gonna do that but I am very thankful for all my gifts and I would just like to say thank you to my friends and family who are watching and yeah it's super sweet of you guys to get me presents that really represent my personality I think that's so cool the last part of the video which is something some of you may be waiting for all of you guys are so supportive it's so sweet of you guys there's so many of you that have been subscribed for a very long time that's so incredibly cool um, I just can't even thank you guys enough for all the support that you've shown me. Now that I have good quality and I have a regular video schedule, I feel like it's a really reciprocal relationship. I picked up a few necklaces at the store because I thought they just were beautiful and they represented me and my channel kind of because I love statement necklaces. I bought four necklaces and three are going to be given away on this channel and then I'm going to give away one on my Instagram. One of them I actually own already and I wore it in my holiday getting ready video that will be posted below as well. It's the blue, I'm just going to show you why am I describing it. It's basically just this gorgeous blue, kind of steampunk-ish, but it's also just so iridescent. I thought it'd be cool just because I own that one, so it's kind of like a part of me. The second one is this rose gold and iridescent and peach and mauve one, and I thought this was so pretty, and I actually just bought this for myself as well, so I own this one too. <laughs> this last one is for those of you who may not be as daring. It has all of the neutral colors on it, so it's actually amazing to pair with literally anything, because it has brown, white, gold, and silver on it. So just so you guys know, this is the one that you'd be winning on Instagram. It's just basically the white version of the blue one I just showed you. So in order to win one of the three necklaces for the video giveaway, so not the white one because that's for Instagram, you just have to be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment below containing two things. Number one, your preference order for the necklaces. And number two, a video you'd like to see me do in the new year. The rules will be listed in the down bar just in case that wasn't clear. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want a chance to win the white necklace. The link's below and it's at Adorks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a good Christmas and have a happy new year. Bye! Hey! <laughs> I was worried this would happen. Are you still Uh, yeah. That's okay.